What's going on? Thanks for tuning in once again. And as you can see it on the screen, Libra. So if you're already in the crypto space, you know about Gemini and Wingo Voss twins. They have their own exchange and a stable dollar, stable crypto pegged currency and Libra that's coming together from a group of conglomerates, you know, Facebook, as well as other partners coming together to launch this global uh, association. It says the Libra Association is working to empower people around the world through the creation of a simple global currency. It's going to be a digital currency. And the Wink of Voss, I saw the video where they said when they when they saw the connection that blockchain cryptocurrency, it's like email for money. It's uh, that that was the win. So that was their win. So for me, will, will I be using Libra? We'll see. I may just check out the language, test it out, and see what's under the hood. Um, so this, this is not Facebook's creation of their own. This is a collection, an association. Facebook does have Caliber, Calibra right here. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. This is their Calibra from Facebook. This is their little side project under the umbrella. So let's dive in. Um, so, and they want to bring this to billions of people. Now, I think there's a, a stat that 5 billion people have mobile phones. And there's uh, billions of unbanked people. So if you can allow the unbanked to now have access to currency, you got this cool global economy. You definitely definitely going to need a marketplace. Uh, and if you go to, let me just go here real quick. This is the Libra website. As you can see, they want to be a little ethnic. Want to get different cultures in there. And you see the three lines. And then caliber one, where's it at? It's one little swervy line. Uh, let's see, they showed a marketplace on here. Closer look. Association for developers, division, partners, the media, white papers, and careers. All right, so I want to jump straight into right here. It says vision. Libra is for the world a stable. So it, it aims to be a stable uh, digital currency, not pegged to a dollar, not pegged to USD, but pegged to uh, a basket of assets, you know, non-volatile assets that they can, you know, use as collateral. You can call that safe food funds. <laughs> so you got simple, inclusive, global blockchain stable is backed by a reserve of assets to help keep its value stable. So they're going to just have the assets already and then issue the Libra tokens or Libra coin. The vision is to be a global digital native reserve backed by cryptocurrency built on the foundation of blockchain technology. Now, I think they're using a uh, bias team fault tolerant. They're using a few different things that's already in crypto and they're going to take their own spin on it. And I'll show you the white paper. They even take a stab at Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're like, these two are wrong. Here's why they don't work. The currency unit of currency is called a Libra. It's aimed to make Libra as widely accepted as possible and easily used. People can use it with confidence in their everyday lives. And that's really, I said it's a win. You know, if you, you create a digital currency, that's a win. But this one has a few strings attached. The reserved, unlike majority of cryptocurrency, Libra is fully backed by a reserve of real assets. What's, what's real assets? What they got? They got gold they found in the ground. They got currency that they made themselves. What's a real asset? Everything is created. Everything is Everything's made up. So how are you going to say it's a real asset? Let's just move on. <laughs> Building trust in its intrinsic value. The blockchain. You, you can become a validator. Ooh. But there's, I think, I think the the criteria for becoming a validator, you have to have about $10 million as well as, you know, positive track record of investment and maybe billion dollar net value. Let's see. And they're going to gradually transition to a permissionless mode of operation. Okay. Okay. Here goes the Libra white paper. Take a closer look. Libra Reserve Blockchain Association. Let's go to partners really quick. So look at these partners. Kiva. That's uh, the lending platform. You got Visa, Lyft, Stripe, eBay, Spotify, Facebook, Calibre, Calibre, PayPal, Coinbase, Uber. So these, this is a cool marketplace. All these places accept F, F day or when they accept Libra, you know, you can easily use it. And here's, here's what I, what, I'm, what I want to say about a stable coin or a pegged coin or a coin that large 
institutions use they will be tracking it so they will see your spending habits they will see how much you make how much you use how much you spend they're already doing this with your bank accounts and they will do this with this coin as well so what 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 should you do diversify you know just that's it if you want to use Libra you can use Libra use it let me see you got use it for uber you can use it for Lyft you can use it buy stuff on eBay uh, is Whole Foods on here? I don't know. Visa. So you can use it to buy groceries. You can use it to buy clothing. You can still use this in your everyday life. You know, this is nothing bad with that. Zappo is on there. Cool. So the responsibilities is governance, implementation, and strategy. Uh, now you can also go on Twitter and see more of the fine print that people are pointing out. Uh, they will be, they will have access to a lot of your information. So it's up to them to let you know, oh, we're going to sell it to these third parties. They're going to know your spending habits. They're going to market to you. Um, and even some of the information, the caliber, the wallet, they can use that to use for Facebook, market towards you, target you. And some say it's for you to have a better experience. Some say it's, you know, just to monitor you and, you know, curate your online journey and experience. So this is just the beginning. So this is all brand new. Uh, Calibra will be launching in 2020. Ooh, the GitHub. So you always want to, any project, go to the GitHub. It takes me to developers.libra. And if we want to go, welcome to the developer site. You can try Libra. You can clone it, install the dependencies, run the client, and then run your first transaction, my first transaction. Here they have... Ooh, so here's really where you want to be. You see they have the Libra blockchain, Move, a language that's programmable. There you go. My first transaction, Libra, open source. Now let me go, here's the actual GitHub right here. GitHub.com. It's been forked a few times, 600 times. And here's all, here's under the hood. Note to developers. Cool, so that's how you, let me see. Apache 2.0 license. Cool, cool. So that is, that's how you really get to see what this project is about and what technology they're using. I want to go back. I want to go to the white paper and the problem statement, opportunity, introducing Libra. So I'm not going to read this white paper. You can all go through it. Let's see. Life of a transaction. Life of a transaction cycle, accepting the transaction, the welcome, Libra blockchain, abstract. Let's see, let's see, first transaction. Cool, I want to go over to Calibre as well before we end this video and show you what's coming in 2020, an app. So this on this app, you'll have your Libras. It says fees, you got US, they're using USD here, 100 USD. Eddie will receive 95 Libras. So that's, in this case, you see it says equal to mixing. 95 Libras, 100 USD. So if you're using 100 USD, but the Libras value is more, then you need less. You sent 95 equal to 1,876 mixins, which is equal to 100 USD. So it's all going to be done in the wallet. And this way, whatever's fluctuating outside of the Libras, it'll just adjust in the app, in the wallet. And you can see four tweets, brand new. Let me see, let's go to Libra, nine tweets, brand new. And so, yeah, so my take on it, my take on it, I say, I say test it out. I say check it out. Um, and as always, do your research. Whenever a major company like this puts something out for a space like this in its infancy, I, I say it's a good thing. You know, it'll definitely help the space grow. It'll bring billions more people to the space, put it in their lights, in their eyes. And guess what? Some of them may use their Libras to buy Bitcoin. We'll see. Um, I actually had a dream. I had a dream a few, I think it was a few months ago. It might have been last year. And the dream was something went on top of Bitcoin. So if you go to CoinMarketCap, Bitcoin has always been at the top, you know, from what I know. But there may be something, one or two things that go above Bitcoin. We'll see. Bitcoin right now is seen as digital gold. You know, it's it's the the virtual asset. You know, if you got your physical gold, you don't have too much of it. Definitely not in your house. Bitcoin, you can have more of it and store it in various places. You know, diversify.
put it in different wallets, store it in different places, and keep your keys. That's what uh, a lot of people in space say. Keep your keys. You own it. You have your keys. You have access to your wallet and all this good stuff. So more coming up. I'm going to be doing or curating some local events as well as virtual events. I'm behind the scenes building, you know, my own contribution to the space. And I, I may, you know, have a foundation or association where we pull together, you know, just trusted investors, uh, people or companies with good track runs, you know, good history of investment and then make my own side app. You know, that's that's looking like the way to go. And from there, you can have your app, you can have your, your functionality, your tokenomics and then main association. You can now allow investors to you know pull into that. But I want to say, as far as investing, just slow down on the investment and speed up on the research. Do more research. Do a lot more research every day, an hour a day. Just definitely do more research. I, I kind of glazed over Facebook's interest into crypto. Now it's up to you to go take it a step further. Uh, and that's all. That's it. Do more research. All right. So thanks for tuning in. Share this video with everybody. I'll be on Twitter. I'm in Telegram. Check me out. Uh, yeah, I'm, I may do a follow-up. We'll see where this goes. It's very exciting and interesting. Peace.